Hi, I'm Nick Nanton and welcome to The Consumer's Advocate, the one and only place where we bring the top specialists in the world to you to talk about finance. And I've got just one of those experts here today, Mr. Richard Ehrlich. Richard, welcome to the show. A pleasure to be here, Nick. So you're a financial advisor, but that means so many things to so many people. So let's let's drill this down a little bit because I think there's a problem in the world today where people don't know sometimes how to find the expert they need. There may be people watching who have had a financial advisor for 20 or 30 years who helped them accumulate a lot of wealth and now they're getting in that retirement, pre-retirement area Area, and they're probably not aware that they actually need somebody like you. So let's talk a little bit about your specialty and what you do for people when they're nearing that retirement red zone, we'll call it. Well, what we focus on is, is very simple. I try to tell people, depending on where you go for advice, that's the advice you're going to get. Okay. I'd like you to just imagine for a minute, let's say you walked into an auto dealership and you walked over and you said, look, I'm looking for a big car, a lot of trunk space, something that's safe. They said, no problem to come back. And they show you a shiny, small sports car. You say, I'm not really sure you heard what I was saying. I'm looking for a big car, a lot of trunk space, something that's safe. They said, let me come right back, hold on. They come back again and they show you again the, the, the little shiny sports car. So you throw your hands up in disgust and you walk out of the building. And as you're walking out, you turn around, you look on the building and it says Porsche. Now my question is, well, whose fault was it? So we focus on really an area of expertise, not on just the accumulation, but really on the distribution to make sure that people's money lasts as long as they do during retirement. And, and that's a key point, lasts as long as they do, because we obviously don't know, life expectancy is getting longer, which is a great thing, but healthcare is also expensive. And the thing is that what you don't realize, a lot of people don't stop to think about the fact that once you are retired, once you've hit that retirement button, which is everyone's dream, right? Once you've hit that retirement button, if you make mistakes with your finances, there's only one way to make them up, is to go back to work, and that's exactly what you didn't want to do. So let's talk about the fact that you have to make smart decisions and safe choices when you're there because you do not want to have to go back to doing what you stopped doing. You want to live those retirement years, right? Well, I always tell people, you're absolutely correct, Nick. I always tell people, I said, look, you know, one of the biggest, there's many risks in retirement, but one of the biggest one is what we would consider a blessing, living a long time. And if somebody makes it to 65, there's a good chance they could be around for 20, 30, or even 40 years or longer. So I'll give you an example. Imagine you and your spouse took that, that vacation you've been dreaming about. And you get up at the airport and you rent that big Cadillac with the leather. You got the air conditioning cranking and you got fa your favorite music is on there. And you start driving down the highway and you're looking out and you're seeing all the beautiful sightseeing that you've always wanted to see. And as you're driving, you see a big sign and it says, next gas stop 150 miles. So you and your spouse look down at the gas gauge and you realize you're less than a quarter of a tank. Well, now there's a little bit of bickering. We're trying to figure out what the proper speed is to maximize gas efficiency. Should we keep the air conditioning on or off? You eventually decide we're going to turn it off. The windows are open. It's hot. Now you're just staring at that gas gauge. And Nick, that's the way most people are living their financial lives. So we at Secure Wealth Planning Group, we put together plans to ensure that people's money lasts as long as they do. That's great. Now, let's talk about how do you do that? Most people are only aware of stock market investments. Um, they think that they're diversified because they're in stocks and mutual funds, which are all tied to the same thing. That is not <laughs> diversification. Let's talk a little bit about how you actually, how do you do that? Because most people don't even know these, these investments exist. Well, like I was telling you before, most people, if you're going to one place, you're only going to get one perspective. I'll tell you about a recent client we had who was working with a quote unquote planner. And after our initial meeting and just trying to really understand what, their, what his goals and objectives were, we both collectively realized that all he had was a bunch of similar types of products. So what we do is we allocate between the spectrum of investment products and the, there's a whole spectrum of conservative, safe products that are not even tied with the stock market. So we marry those two together. We also include existing types of guaranteed income like pensions and Social Security. And we create a plan that not only guarantees that they'll have that income for the rest of their life, but we can optimize the rest of their money without having the stress and the anxiety during retirement. Those are all things that are very needed. Now let's talk about the fact that you are an independent wealth advisor. You are not tied to a, a Wells Fargo or any major company. And let's talk about the differences there because while there is some comfort in, for consumers in going to a big name institution, big name bank, there are some very big problems that they probably never even realized were there that they can't get the help that someone like you can give them. Let's talk about that for a well, second. Well, it's, it's funny you mention that because the people, the average consumer, and quite frankly, if I wasn't in this business, I wouldn't know either, does not realize that there's a difference between the big banks and the independent advisor channel. The big banks are not, which is surprising, they're not fiduciaries. 
meaning they don't have, they don't not obligated to have the client's best interest in mind, which is a little scary. So when they're going there, and we review a lot of these portfolios on a regular basis, we realize that they're paying additional fees that they didn't know they were paying. They, they're getting really not objective advice. When they come to an independent advisor like, like our firm, we show them the spectrum of complete unbiased planning. And so we don't have to go in one specific direction. Our plans are custom tailored. We do not have a cookie cutter approach. And it's funny because a lot of my clients will come in the first time and I'll do the old Johnny Carson. I'll hold up their statement to my head and I'll say, you have three of these and two of those. And they're like, how'd you know that? I said, well, that's what everybody has. <laughs> so that's the big difference between all of us. Very good. Now tell us, I know you've helped a lot of people, but can you give us an example, maybe one of your favorite stories of someone who you've helped? Well, I'll tell you, we had a, a person that came to us a number of years ago, and she retired from a place of work that she'd been working for a long time. And she was a divorced woman. She had uh, some children she was taking care of, and she could not afford to have any mistakes in retirement. And unfortunately, really, most people don't really remember everything we talk about in retirement uh, in our meetings. But what happened was, this was about 2007. And 2008, around probably towards the end of the year, I remember receiving a phone call. I was in my house. I answer the phone, and I hear this woman on the end of the line. And she's literally crying. Oh, my God, I lost all my money. And I calmly said, her name was Kathy. I said, Kathy, I'm not sure who else you gave your money to, but you didn't lose one penny with us. And there was a dead silence, right? And then, if, then there were tears of joy. Because we don't only, I don't only have to go into the investment side. I can go with the safe and conservative tools that will help people preserve their income. And quite frankly, that gives me the most joy of doing what I can do every day for people. That's amazing stuff. Now, I know there's lots of people like her who have seen this interview and say, I want to know what else is out there. I want to make sure I'm getting good advice. I want to make sure I have a fiduciary watching over me, not just selling me what they want to sell me. How can they find me, Richard? Well, we're a big believer in education, so I strongly encourage people to visit our website at securewpg.com, or you can vis visit our, financial, our weekly financial online newsletter at, at richardsweekly.com, and it's jam-packed with all kinds of proactive financial information to help you stay ahead of the financial curve. Very good. Based in South Florida, helping people all over the world, Richard Ehrlich, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Nick. Appreciate it.